EP360, your source for El Paso Chihuahuas baseball. Hey Chihuahuas fans, welcome to the last segment of EP360 for the 2014 campaign. I'm Matt Micah, joined by John Staub. We're gonna have four topics, four bases, and we're gonna go around the horn, but it's gonna be kind of a different segment this time. We're gonna talk about best moments, pitchers, MVPs, kind of just sum up the entire year in one segment. So, that being said, let's go to first base. MVP, who do you got? For me, there's only one guy that you could really look at as the most valuable person on this Chihuahuas team. That is the charismatic superstar, Cody Becker. This guy on Olbermann, on his Twitter account, social media, at our clock tower after game, with our fans over here along the wall in the outfield. This guy just really gets it. He puts himself out there. He's really created a character that these fans can grasp onto. Somebody they really can adore and associate with throughout the course of the season. He's been here all year. And being that he's been here all year, he also leads the team in home runs, RBIs, and he's in the top three of most of the major statistical categories. Doesn't have the greatest average, but everything this guy has done to bring this organization closer to this community cannot be overlooked from a guy you're looking at to be your MVP. And that, for me, he's really the guy you have to go with. What about you? It's a great pick right there. My pick? You can kind of toss it up with this one. You, know, you, you can talk about Jeff Rancor, what he's done for this team, what he's done for this community. You can talk about Brooks Conrad before he got hurt. Adam Moore, considering him one of the best offensive production catchers in the PCL before he got hurt. If Reimer Liriano was here the entire season, I mean, his offensive numbers were unbelievable. You can talk about him, but my guy has to be kind of under the radar, Tyler Green. He, he leads the team in most offensive categories, runs, doubles, just to name a few. He also recorded a 13-game hitting streak in the year, then decided to beat his own record and hit a 14-game hitting streak. So what he's done at the plate has been outstanding. So I would have to pick Tyler Green. We head to second base, pitchers of the year. Who do you have? For me, Jason Lane. Uh, there's, there's not much more you can say about this guy. You know, 37 years old, he has reinvented himself from a former major league, minor league outfielder to a starting pitcher, and in that role, he's arguably been one of the Chihuahuas, if not the best starting pitcher on the season for this team. Leads the team in ERA, he gets a bat in his hand when he needs it, he's been called on to pinch hit, he's gone to San Diego, he had a great start in San Diego, was used as a pinch hitter there as well, and at 37 years old, he's really provided the kind of off the field leadership that a very young team needs, especially these guys here at AAA and a guy I know you are looking at very dearly as your pitcher of the year. My pitcher of the year, like you said, has to be Matt Whistler. You mentioned that. Matt Whistler, is, he's only 21 years old. He's about to turn 22, and what he's done after those first early struggles in the beginning of the year, what he's done proves why he's one of the top prospects in the San Diego Padres system. He has leaned on Jason Lane, Jeff Rancourt, some of the other veterans, just to get advice and what he's turned around, he's one of those bulldog type pitchers. He gets after guys, he has a great mentality, he has a lot of confidence, and when he goes on the mound, it's gonna be exciting, exciting to watch. It's unbelievable to watch. We head to third base, best moments of the year. I mean, this park has so much electricity every single night. There has gotta be one particular play in your mind that you like to talk about. Yeah, when you talk about electricity, you talk about atmosphere. For me, the play of the year happened actually just a couple sections over from where we're standing. That was in the historic home opening series, the whole homestand. Last game, Jake Lemmerman walk off grand slam, bottom of the ninth inning, and a game that saw three grand slams hit. That's not something that you see every day. And the atmosphere, that home run, what happened here in this ballpark really set the tone for the whole season, what the sellout crowds were able to do. You know, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania myself, and last year I was able to stand in PNC Park when the Pittsburgh Pirates and Cincinnati Reds played in a Major League wildcard game, the first playoff game in Pittsburgh in over 20 years. The atmosphere, the electricity there, the sound was deafening. What I experienced here from just under 9,000 people really rivaled what I experienced there with 40,000 people. The the atmosphere was just electric, the sound, it was deafening. This ballpark was rattling and shaking in every seat. That really set the tone for the whole year. You know, for me, that's the memory that stands out the most for me this season. What about you? You know, that's a great memory right there. I mean, you can have a pick out of a hat of, you know, tons of them. You have Cody Decker, his home run. That was an absolute blast, an absolute moonshot, you know, during the Stars and Stripes weekend. You know, Jace Peterson making unbelievable plays with bare hands, diving, you know, ranging up the middle, just being that athletic middle infielder that he is, Rico Noel, ranging the outfield, climbing walls like Bo Jackson. 
But honestly, it has to be to you, the fans. Every single night you come here to Southwest University Park, this place is sold out. It's loud, it's crazy, so much energy. There's not a minor league baseball park that's like this in the entire, in entire country. It's unbelievable. It rivals major league ballparks. You know, you have players that say that all the time. To you, the fans, we say thank you. We say thank you so much. We can't stop saying thank you because you guys make the difference. You guys come here, you bring the energy, you bring that excitement. So we, as a front office, and me, Matt, and John, would like to say thank you, and we head for home. Trials fans, there's only five games left at Southwest University Park. Let's make it a blast. Let's make it a you know, great memory. It's been a great year so far. Let's end on a great note. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for all your Trials news. I'm Matt Micah, joined by John Stop. We'll see you next time.